Welcome to uh, BD's Transmission Shop. Today we're going to be looking at the uh, patented uh, BD interlocking pressure plate kit for the 6R140 transmission. We have developed uh, three different pressure plate kits for the problem clutches inside this transmission. The intermediate clutch, uh, the direct clutch, and the overdrive clutch. Uh, we've gone from seven clutches in the overdrive to eight. Uh, we've gone from five clutches in the intermediate to either seven or eight, depending on the year of the drum. And we've gone from five clutches in the direct drum up to six. Anybody who builds transmissions knows that two of the key uh, kind of ingredients to uh, increase your torque holding capacity, stop slippage and uh, hold those clutches together are going to be adding clutch material into the packs and uh, pressure. So obviously here we've added uh, material into these clutch packs and we've done it in kind of a unique way. We've got these interlocking clutch plates that go into the drum and they actually slide into the snapping groove. Okay, they go down, slide into the snapping groove lock into the snap ring groove and then they have an interlocking plate that drops on top of them and that will lock it into place and hold it there. So that allows us with the, uh, with the cut piston in the intermediate and the, and the overdrive to get the extra clutches in there. Um, and then obviously we, the, uh, the direct is going to be just the uh, actual plate kit that's going to add that extra clutch in there. So you're going to want to choose these plates in order to uh, increase your clutch holding capacity in these things to stop any uh, shift flares or slippage. Uh, and then these also, these kits will stop any of the squawks that you get in these transmissions, especially on the 3-4 shift. But we've also had to cure the 1-2 as well. So get rid of any of the squawks, hold these things together with more torque and uh, horsepower, obviously, and uh, stop any of the slippage and the burning inside these clutch packs. So now I'll just give you a kind of a demonstration of how these things go together. We're gonna build up this overdrive clutch pack. We'll start off by dropping a steel in there, and then we'll go Obviously dropping them interchangeably all the way to the uh, to the top here. All right, and this is where the uh, inter interlocking plate goes in. You drop it down and in. It goes directly into that snap ring groove. You're actually just going to lift it a little bit, turn it into the snap ring groove. And then we're going to drop this locking plate down onto it. So it's going to lock down onto the kind of puzzle pieces that it fits there. We'll drop that onto there. We'll put the inner snap ring in there. And now we've got that clutch kit together. Now we're going to check it for proper clearance. These are non-adjustable. They are just a drop-in pack. But if you had any uh, clearance issues, you'd obviously want to pull it back out, check and make sure that none of your clutches are warped or your steels are all good and that you don't have anything in the uh, snap ring groove or any debris in there that's in your way. Move along to the intermediate drum. On this one here you can have two different drums. There's going to be uh, an early and a late drum. The early drum is going to have about 360 thou from the top of the drum to the top of the snap ring groove. The late drum is going to have 450 thou. So those are going to determine whether or not you're going to get seven or eight clutches in there. If uh, you've got a, an early drum and the 360 thou to the top, you're going to get all eight. This is one of those drums, so we'll drop, we'll drop the eight uh, intermediate clutches in after we put in the uh, wave plate. So wave plate, and then steel clutch, alternating all the way to the top again. Okay, and then once again, we're going to take this interlocking plate and we're going to drop it into that snap ring groove. Slightly pull up and turn it into the groove so that it can't come back up. And then once again, we're going to drop this interlocking ring onto it. And then install the snap ring. Once again, we're gonna check it for proper clearance and that there's no debris in the snap ring groove and the piston is, uh, is even and down where it should be. All right, and finally we have the direct clutch here. We're gonna go from five to six clutches in the direct pack. We're gonna start by dropping in our wave plate and then alternate clutches and seals.
And once again, we will do the same thing, drop the pressure plate down and into the snapping groove, make sure that it's locked in there. And then drop this inner locking ring on top. And once again, the inner snap ring goes in there. Check it for clearance and you should be good to go. If you guys are towing heavy and you got uh, big horsepower 6R140s out there, come and talk to BD about our uh, interlocking pressure plate kit. Uh, it's proprietary to us. There's nobody else out there using anything like it. So come take a look at these and uh, build up a good, strong 6R140 transmission that'll last.